Patrick it, man. Sorry. That's it, sorry. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. There was a reason I was pulling that stupid face in the background, as you'll all find out later on in the show. Mad time, you know, I said I was in a few bit, a bit of trouble as a kid. This bridge is called the Iron Bridge, man, and this separates two council estates. My friend, we came here to pick up some money from the other guys from the other side of the street. Saw two rivals on the end of the bridge, and it was almost like here was the guys, and here are we. We came together, started fighting, so I'm here. I feel like a bit nervous right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, started fighting with the guys, fucking boom, smacked the fella, turned around because the other guy had come this side. I'm there waiting for him. As I'm about to wait for him to come to me, I feel something in the back. I was like, oh! Next minute, bruv, the next people have come, two, two older guys. Yeah. They come here, and I'm like, oh, like my back's hurting. I had a nice brand new tracksuit on. Yeah. <laughs> I was more pissed off about that. Yeah. Two older men came here and was like, what are you doing? I'm going to call the police. I had my backpack on also, bruv, yeah, on the floor that I'd throw to the floor, and inside the backpack was too much weed. So I couldn't get caught with that. One, because I didn't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Two, because the man's weed, whoever weed that was, if I had lost that, I'd get my ass whooped, bruv, oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I felt like wet on my back, like I was sweating, bruv. You ever been in like a, a leather seated car? Yeah. And a hot day, and then I put my hand up my back, bruv, and my hand was covered in blood. And I was like, fuck. Full. Fully covered, bruv. I put my hand fuck. up my shirt, put in my thumb into my back where the knife had been into the back Ooh, it was horrible bruv and that, then that's when it hurt you know that was like ah that, that something's not right it was a mad feeling nothing like that happens in the Czech Republic though no 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 we don't use the knife or the guns just the just the fist bruv yeah just the fist I mean you've met a lot of people today from this area from my area and what did Michael tell you earlier on bruv everyone's carrying something yeah, yeah like you can hear it from this side you can hear the people bruv that's feral kids running around the block, bruv. Really? You know what I mean? Look at the kids, look. See how they're looking? Yeah. Because that's their area. Yo, dad, or bigger brother, come here now. Look, what? who are these two people about to come into our area? Oh, yeah, really? Fit for real, 100%, bruv. There's two kids. You see them? That's yes. not normal, bruv. Kids playing out the front of a house. They've got a garden to play in, bruv. Oh, yeah. yeah but they're yeah, informers, yeah. you know. They're watching everything. I would not go there. I was on this side of the bridge. That's my side. That's their side, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't go in there. If you go in there, you've got to be ready to, to go. Dust, gone. Yes. A few times, I've met a couple of girls from this area. Really? Yeah, and that was the back in the day when you wanted to meet up with a chick. <laughs> so start, start thinking with your dick. Yes. And could be big trouble for you, you know what I mean? I'm not joking. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe you, bro. I believe you. Yeah. I'm going to kill you, bro. See that? That's what I'm saying. You can't be here too long, bro. I want we get back in the car. Used to be the music studio, but then yes. we moved it outside. So you got the whole building? The whole building. Yes, boys. What's going on? Reason, reason, reason. Yeah, I am from. Prague. Yeah, Prague, Prague. Yeah. It's a fun place, man. You think so? Yeah, I think that was wrong. Oh. Like three years ago. Uh huh. Just for the vacation or? Yeah, just for a weekend, man. Okay. Was, was good? Yeah, man. Fine. So we've got a little surprise for Patrick. I'm here with my man Mike. Um, we're going to play a little prank on him. I'm gonna get Patrick to line Mike up and what the trick is, is Mike's gonna kick off and we're gonna scare Patrick and play a little prank on him. So let's see how it goes. What are you saying about? Come on, let's do this, bro. <laughs> do this. Oh, six years. Six years? Six years. Yeah? Yeah. You good? I am. Come on, don't fuck the man's hair up, please, bro. So I'm bringing to my mum. Make sure everything's fresh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Michael. What? Sorry, Michael. Into your brother pencil and left the man, bro. And you left the hair, bro. Oh, Patrick, man. Sorry. What's it? Sorry. Oh, sorry. So, 
Can I do something for you, like... What, fuck this up beside her? No. And just me sit down so you can fuck the other side up? No, 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 no. Yeah, would that be better? You just fuck both sides up? Bro, you have to make that even, bro. No, no, take this shit off. Patrick, what happened, bro? It's clean, man, it's clean. It's clean, man, it's clean. Pain, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Look how you felt then. Yeah. You see how you felt, yeah, when you thought you fucked the man up? I'm not feeling like Nah, look, listen to what I'm telling you, yeah? Just shut up, bro. Listen, right? How he felt then is a real thing, bro. That's how it would happen. Did you feel nervous? Yeah, how did you not feel nervous, then? But, like, scared, bro. Scared. 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 Like, Nothing very, not nervous, but scared. Especially when you're putting your effort in Because you know you're just doing it good. That's the pressure, bro. That's the pressure. That's bro. the difference. That's the real, the real Here's the change, bro. That's the thing, bro. That feeling. If you fuck the man up, that's so for you, bro. That's good that you've experienced that because remember that feeling. And every time you cut a man's hair, think if I don't do a hundred percent haircut, that's what you're gonna feel, bro. It was great to show Patrick around my hometown. I hope now I've changed his movie perspective of London. Busy times meant we had to get back to Prague, but just before that, I took Patrick to see the movie side of the Czech's imagination. It's the end of the summer and I'm with Frieza, one of my other barbers. We're in Brno for an event with DeLonghi, who I've teamed up this year to promote their last Specialista coffee machine. Just goes to show, life as a barber can be out of the barber shop too. students had their first day in the shop last week. One of them was Lukash, who I'm glad joined us in Brno because I had a little bone to pick with him about his first day in the King of Kings barber shop. How's everything? Good? Yeah, good. Good, good. good to see you. The busy day and everything go well. Yeah, good man. So now what I need to speak to you about is um, obviously I wasn't here for the first day on Monday last yeah. week. Um, how did that go for you, man, in the first day in the shop? How did that go? It was the sit shitty situation because uh, I went there for the time, but the Kyle was a little bit late, like half an hour maybe. Yeah. And I have done there some jobs and I was like, oh shit, man, I have to do everything. He asked you to do something in the shop and you told him that you don't have to listen to him. We needed to clean uh, the hair under the chair. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, because, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, something, so you needed to clean underneath the chair. Yeah. Patrick, what, lifted the chair up yeah. and then told you to clean it? Yeah. And you didn't? You told no. him you're not doing that? No, man. Why did you do that? Because I washed my hands and I don't want to get dirty, that, that thing. Or that I said to him, like, we can change, mate. And he said, no, I don't want. But I said, no, but I want to change. Yeah. But he said, no, I don't want to do that. But, but here's where you have to understand, Lukash. Yeah, I know. That you have to do what you're fucking told. Yeah. That's it simple, you know what I mean? Because that's, if you don't like it, don't become part of the process. Okay. Everybody has to listen when I'm not there to Patrick there's and nothing, to. Yeah, there's nothing you have to do that, but we do it like we just want to teach you how to do that, yeah. like how to keep it clean and take care about the tools mm. and the chairs and stuff. Yeah. Right now you have to accept that you're the bitch of the shop. Kyle is the bitch of the shop. You have to do the shittiest jobs. Yeah. And you will build on that, and that will make you a better barber in yeah. the future. If you can accept that you've got to take care of everybody and you have to know your role. 
Sometimes you've got to keep your mouth shut, just do the job, and then you can speak to me afterwards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, next time, don't even take care about this and yeah. be concentrate on yourself. Okay. You were the best. Yeah. Like, you were better that you came on time. Okay. And we will see, yeah. we, know, we know that we will see there. You know? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's hard for me to be passive with people. I say it how I see it. I'm grateful that I got Freezer on hand. He always sees the positive things to say at the right time. Something we all need to do in life. So you've got a couple of challenges for you guys. And this is the first part. And uh, all will be revealed later on down the line. But one of you is going to win the chance to come with me to Norway. Next time on the Barber Movement.